Let's talk basketball and the national champions. The Cape Town Tigers are looking to qualify for the second season of the prestigious Basketball Africa League. The Tigers are through to the Elite 16 round, one step away from qualifying for the regular season. The draw for the Elite 16 has been made. So let's talk to Raphael Edwards, the American business mogul from Brooklyn, New York, who owns and runs the team. Raphael, when we last spoke, the Tigers had just qualified. You now know who your opponents are, and they are teams from Burundi, Zambia, Tanzania. Basketball on the continent, very much alive and well. And what do you make of your opponents? Yes, um, first of all, thank you for having me again. It's a pleasure to be back and advanced since the last time we spoke. Um, basketball is alive and kicking in South Africa, and I'm happy to be a part of it. Um, our opponents are tough. You know, we're not overlooking them. We're scouting what needs to be scouted, and we're preparing diligently. We know the NBA have come over to the continent quite a bit, and it's intensifying. Are there scouts around when you play nowadays? Because the road to the NBA seems like it does stop in Africa for a larger part. There are stars, bona fide, big, marquee stars playing in the NBA today who come from Africa. Yeah, but not only scouts. I mean, they're recording everything. There's someone always watching. And that's something I stress to my players someone is always watching so if it's their first time you want to leave them with the best impression possible so yeah they're definitely scouting well you swept through the first round you've got nba players in your ranks and you've got other very seasoned players who've been through europe who've been in the collegiate system how have you assembled such a uh, qualified group of players in cape town is the interest there are the resources there? Are the facilities there? The facilities need some working uh, with and working on, and that's what we are prepared to do. That's part of our short-term goal. But uh, the talent is definitely here. You know, Coach Relton, Coach Vince definitely helped assemble a good national player talent. And with my resources and connections from people in the States, I was able to fit the pieces on what I felt like we needed for the type of system we were running here. When you go to practice in Cape Town, uh, when you walk around the streets, do you think that the locals know of what kind of a talent you have assembled? Uh, the, the NBA players, Ben Uzo, Billy Preston, the likes of those names. Do, you, do they know yet? Does enough Has the message been sent out that you've got a pretty serious basketball team on your hands? They're starting to figure out. Billy made mention the other day that he was in the store and someone was like, oh, my God, Billy Preston, Cape Town Tigers. I, I saw you when you played for Cleveland Cavaliers. And he was taken back by it. It was a pleasant surprise. But they're starting to figure out. We're, we're really starting to get the word out more and more. We're looking for more support from our city, from our government, et cetera. But, you know, it's new. And I understand that. I understand things doesn't happen overnight. But we, we would like a little bit more support, especially where we're at the level that we're at now. So, Does it complicate matters that you have to go up to Johannesburg to qualify uh, through, through to the next round, uh, through to the main round, um, and, and you leave your, your base in Cape Town? It doesn't complicate things, really, because while Cape Town is our initial base, we represent South Africa. So we could play in Durban. We could play anywhere. We represent South Africa. But we would have liked to have it here in Cape Town and bring all the business and the work and the publicity here to our city. We would have loved that. But in the short span of time, and like I just said, the, um, the support isn't fully there all the way yet. So that's why we're going back to Johannesburg. But, you know, we're going to bring a, a lot of things here to Cape Town just as big. So I'm not worried about it. When you speak to your colleagues in the States about this basketball team of yours, the Cape Town Tigers, do they know uh, what the scene that, that you're cultivating here? Are they aware of it? Are, are they looking to see if there might be a player they could use? Yeah, so when I, when I talk to them, you know, I'm keeping it really light because I'm still trying to coach these guys, not only skillfully, um, strength and conditioning, but also mentally. 
So, you know, people know pretty much when I say I give my word and I speak on something, it's pretty much 100. And I want to be 100 when I suggest, hey, take a look at this kid. I think he could really fit a piece of what you have going on, the puzzle over there. So they know to take it seriously. It seems to me the NBA has cast their net very wide these days. They're in a lot of countries. Their presence is growing. It used to be that they recruited almost exclusively from the collegiate system. Then they broke into the high schools. Then it was into Europe. And now we, we're, we're looking at different continents and we're seeing the players playing. Uh, are your players, is that their end goal to get into the NBA? Well, I, and I speak, I've spoken to a lot of them. The, the goal is to be the best that we can be in the BAL. That's the goal. We want to dominate the BAL and individually they want to be the best at their position in the BAL. Now, by doing that, if that opens a door up to the NBA, so be it. You know, we cross that bridge and I'll help the guys cross that bridge when we get to it. But for right now, the goal is to dominate the BAL and win the championship. I, I just want to be a little bit controversial now because we're finding it in South African football that when the, our clubs go and play on the continent, a lot of things start happening, maybe administrative blunders, that kind of thing. Well, our national team right now is embroiled in a situation, let's say, with Ghana. Do you find the same in basketball or is there more of a, a brotherhood um, a, a fraternal feeling that we're all pushing in the same direction for the sport? It is not a feeling of pushing together. <laughs> and we typically feel like it's eight against five, but we're prepared for that. And I tell the guys, don't even worry about it. They, no one is with us unless they have our colors on and they're sitting on this bench with us. Other than that, we're not depending upon anyone. We're not going to leave the game in anyone's hands. Rafael Edwards, thanks for joining us. Dare I say you should become a consultant to our national football team to tell them about how you overcome the hurdles that you face. But best of luck with the Cape Town Tigers. Thank you so much, man. Thank you for having me. And everyone, please, if you're not a fan yet, please follow us on Instagram, the Cape Town Tigers, uh, Facebook, etc. all social media, the Cape Town Tigers. We have a talented hard-working group of young men, and um, I think you guys will be interested in seeing what's going on. Rafael, thanks very much. Yeah, he's, he's not lying. They are the real deal. Bonafide NBA superstars in their ranks. Pretty incredible.